Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to start and stop AWS EC2 instance using Python Boto3. So let's start. So first of all, as you can see here, so first of all, we, we need a basic knowledge of AWS, right? So as you can see here, I have successfully logged into my AWS and we need a instance. So as you can see, I have successfully launched my instance with the name Python. So let's start. So first of all, to start and stop AWS EC2 instance using Python Boto3. So first of all, we need to create IAM policy in AWS. Okay. So first of all, we have to create IAM policy role, which contains execution permission to EC2 instance. And here, so to create IAM policy and role, log into AWS management console and search IAM in search box. After that, you will redirect IAM dashboard and click on policies at left side. Then we need to create, we'll click on this create policy. After that, we need to select JSON and paste the below policy into the, click on this tags. And after that, let's create, click on this create policy. Okay. So first step is we need to create IAM policy in AWS. So let's go to the IAM. So here, this is my AWS account. So I'm going to search IAM. And I'm going to open a new tab. And in left side, as you can see the policies. Okay, so click on these policies. So let's create new policy here. Okay, so as you can see, this is my policies. I have this total policy count. Okay, now click on policy, create policy. After that here, you need to select JSON. And after that here, You need to paste this code in this. Okay. Right. Now let's click on next. Then enter your policy name. So my policy name will be start and stop. Then add description. So it's optional. If you don't want, then you can skip this. After that here, search policies and permissions. Okay. Now click on this create policy. As you can see, policy start and stop created successfully, right? If you want to view, then you can click on this view policy. As you can see, this is our policy. Okay. So we have successfully created our policy. Okay. It's done. Now, the next step is creating IAM role and attach permission policies. So the next step is we are going to create, we will create IAM role. Okay, so first of all, we have to create IAM role and attaching policy which ha we have created above it. Then to create role, navigate IAM role, then click on this IAM role after that left side. After that, click on create role. And here we need to select this AWS service. After that, we need to select Lambda and then click on permission so we need to add permission that we have just created policy here and then click on create role okay so let's create role so as you can see here roles so click on it and click on create role here you need to select aws service and if i scroll down use case so use case is lambda now click on next after that the next step is the second step, add permission. So in this permission, we need to add policies. Okay, which policies that we have created just. So our policy name is start and stop policy that we have created. Next. Now enter your role name. So my role name will be start and stop role. Okay. Then description, allow Lambda function to call AWS services on your behalf and so on. Right here. Okay. All easy and click on OK. Now let's click on next. Create role. Now if you want to view our role, so you can view. As you can see, this is the role. So now we have successfully created our policies. Then we have successfully create role and we are successfully attaching this policy to this role. Okay, it's done. 
Now it's time to move third step. So the third step is start and stop AWS EC2 instance using Python Boto 3. So below are steps to start and start AWS EC2 instance. So the first step is Lambda function to stop EC2 instance. That means let's create Lambda function. Okay. So here in this, let's search Lambda. So I'm going to open new tab. So here, this is the Lambda dashboard. So click on create function. And if I go to the functions, as you can see, as of now, there is no any functions. So let's create function. So, so here, select author from scratch, basic. So function name is start and stop function. Okay, then runtime. So here we need to select Python 3.8. I'm going to select Python 3.8. Then permissions change default execution role. Use an existing role. And existing role, this is a role. Start, start and stop role, right? That we have created. So I'm going to select it. As you can see here. Search in author from scratch, give function names, select runtime as Python, then under permission section, select your existing role. In existing role, add role which we have created and above click create function. Okay. Okay, it's done. Now click on this create function. Okay. So our function is successfully created. You can see successfully create the function start and stop function. So you can now change it code and configuration. Okay. We have successfully start our, sorry, we have successfully create our function, lambda function. Okay. It's done. Right. Now the next step is here. Copy the below Python lambda function code to stop EC2 instance and change EC2 instance name and region according to your click on deploy. Okay. So first of all here, as you can see, here, this is my instance. If I run, if I um, refresh my page, as you can see, my instance successfully running. The state is running. Now, we are going to stop this instance using lambda function, right? So how? So first of all, I'm going to copy this code. And go to the lambda function. Right. And let's scroll down. And here, paste the code. And after that here, let's copy the instance ID here. And replace it. So here, I have only one instance. So that's why I am going to enter one instance ID. Okay, and the function is def lambda handler as you can see stop instance, instance ID and your region name. So my region is AP South 1. But if your region is different, then you can change it also, right? Now, simply click on deploy. Okay, successfully updated. Now let's run. As you can see, it's also running. Now it's running. Right. Okay, after that, after successfully deploy, we need to test this function. So click on test, create new event, enter your event name. So my event name will be sample. Right. Then hello world. Okay. Keep as it is. Now click on save. And now click on test. As you can see, there is no any error now. Now let's check and refresh the page. As you can see, the state is stopping. That means our instance success instance are going to stop. As you can see, stopping. It takes a few seconds to stop, as you know, right? It's stopping. Stopped. So as you can see here, there is no any error, right? So that's why our instance successfully stopped that means this function is successfully work okay now i want to start my instance again so how to start so go to the lambda function go to the files this lambda 
dot py and here this easy to stop start instance i'm going to enter start instance and print your start instance start your instance right right start instance start instance right so let's click on first of all let's check it successfully stopped right now let's click on deploy now let's test it's done right test event sample response null that means there is no any errors right now let's go to and refresh the page now it's pending because it's starting now let's its state is pending that means it successfully started right so wait for a few seconds it started as you can see now the state is running that means we have successfully stopped we have successfully also start the instance so it's done right so in this session, we have learned how to start and stop AWS EC2 instance using Python Boto 3. So thank you for watching and I hope you understand.